If you're going to China with a luxury brand, it's very important to have a story behind your brand. We've been doing this now since 2010 with wine. Wine is a luxury product in China, and the Chinese aspire to drink high quality wine, which is why the French have done so well over in China in the past. Now we've recently had a Chinese businessman who runs a number of golf clubs. He also has a magazine that he publishes in a number of newspapers. He came to us and uh, requested that we create a brand that would work well for his golf club members. Now, being golf clubs in China, it means that it's, it's the home of the very wealthy. So the wine has to appeal to what wealthy Chinese aspire to, um, to be and the messages they aspire to get across. They don't just drink wine because it's a, a nice drink to have, but they drink wine because it's a sign of status um, as well. So it's very important to actually, um, to actually hit the right points that the Chinese are looking for. So they want prestige, they want uh, refinement, they want luxury, uh, they, want, uh, they want to display success. So having the right elements as part of the branding is, is very important. 15 years of, of research and experience in China has shown us of what the Chinese like to have in their, their luxury brands. And we've decided based on that experience to, um, to bring in a brand called the King's Harvest. King's Harvest automatically um, brings to the picture a, uh, a feeling of, uh, of nobility, of importance, of success, um, of history. The King's Harvest also translates very well into Chinese. So the characters that can be used in the Chinese marketing material will be very um, positive in terms of um, characters for Chinese. So they'll be, they'll be well received. We've also brought into play a, the armorial bearings from the Walsh family, which date back to the 15th century um, out of Europe. Uh, along with that, we have access to all of the titles of the, of the Walsh family across the centuries as well. So for this particular wine, we've used the Count de Beige. Okay? Now Count de Beige, is, um, it's a French title, um, and a, the current modern day Count de Beige has actually authorised a special release of this wine, of this high quality wine, under his uh, family crest and using his title. So the wine is by appointment the Count de Beige. There's only 2016 bottles of this wine created. The bottles are super premium bottles. We can't just use premium bottles. That have, we have to go all the way. We have to use cork. We have to have a deep punch in the bottle. The punt is the, the bottom section of the bottle, sort of aimed to, to put your thumb into when, you, when you're pouring. And the Chinese are actually looking to, um, to, to check the depth of the punt. If it's not deep enough, then it's, it's something that's, that's not premium enough for them. On the label as well, it's very important to have texture and it's very important to have uh, as many luxury embellishments as you can get. The embellishments help to create that, that feel of luxury. So it looks luxurious, it feels luxurious. If you rub your, your thumb across it, you can feel the texture on the label. And with the black background and the gold border, it makes it stand out um, very well. The, in, on the label as well, above the armorial bearings, we've got uh, a sash being held up by two lions. In the sash, it actually has the, uh, the Latin words virus e virtut, which translates to strength from courage. The wine itself has been labelled the virus reserve Shiraz, and that is something that has been synonymous with the Count de Beige uh, across the centuries. So with the wine uh, for this particular customer, they've wanted to get a, they've wanted a wine that will be well known. Okay, so Barossa Valley uh, from uh, Australia is very well known to the Chinese. Anybody who drinks wine will have heard of the Barossa Valley in China. So we've done that. We've identified a number of wines that they could uh, choose for this. They've, uh, they've selected the one that they prefer that fits in with the taste profile that um, that um, province of China likes. So we've put together the, the wine, the bottle, the label um, and the branding. However, the only component that we now had to do was put together the story behind the wine. We had to we had to make, put together the material so that the Chinese would actually feel that they were, um, they were uh, linked to history. So we've linked the history of the 2009 growing year in the Barossa Valley, and we've intertwined that with the story behind the Count de Beige and the battle, battles fought by the family in the Hundred Years' War back in the 15th century. So the Count has, um, the Count when reviewing this wine, had actually decided that the qualities and characters of the wine were very similar to the qualities and characters that have come 
into his family by virtue of the struggle against adversity through battles fought, through having to be strength and having the courage to endure. So as a result of that, the Count has actually um, allowed this wine to be released under his name. Very special release, only the 2015 bottles. So in talking about the, uh, the 2009 vintage, the, the qualities that make it taste the way it does, the way it gets its fruit sweetness, the way it gets its, um, the levels of alcohol, the way it gets the smooth texture, is the, the same way in which the family of the Count have, um, have built up their, um, their noble standing over, um, over the many hundreds of years since, since the war. So the idea was behind this that when somebody in China is drinking a bottle of this wine, that they're linking themselves to the history of the Count de Beige and can talk about the story of the Count and show to their colleagues, to their friends, to their family, a display of success. It's been something that's been a success for the Count. The wine has been exceptional from 2009 in the Barossa Valley. Bringing that all together gives the wine drinker something that will display their success it gives them something that will taste good and it gives them something that will show their importance. To be able to buy a bottle of this wine when there's only 2015 bottles in existence is in itself a privilege and to be able to pay the price to actually purchase this wine in the first place shows the rest of their friends, colleagues and others how successful they really are.